Hi and welcome to Best in Tesla. So Tesla stock has made a massive 61% rise over the last 14 trading days. And it seems like it just keeps going. And it might not stop for quite a while if all the many catalysts come true over the next two years or so. As AJ just made a list of 22 catalysts he sees within the next two years. So let's check them all out and let's dive right in. Remember how people said in the beginning of this year that 2024 would be a boring year for Tesla because they were in between two growth waves. But then I made a whole video about all the catalysts that would come in 2024 and I saw 2024 as another great year for Tesla as Tesla had so much more coming than just growth in vehicle sales. And Tesla stock has made a massive 61% rise over the last 14 trading days. So I guess there is something to be excited about here in 2024 and we still have a couple of months left where we are still waiting for a few catalysts from Tesla as well. But that is just 2024 we're talking about. When we are starting to look a little bit out in the future, it becomes even more exciting. And we don't have to look that far out in the future for some tremendous catalyst for Tesla's valuation. And CERN was just on brighter with Herbert and showed off just how much value is coming for Tesla over the next 10 to 15 years that will make Tesla's auto business become irrelevant, basically. As we have talked about so many times before, I can highly recommend you check out Herbert's video about this, but we don't have to look that far out in the future to see some huge implication for Tesla's valuation. As AJ also just made a whole list of things we should be looking forward to over just the next couple of years. So let's take a look at all the good stuff that is flooding the Tesla story right now, because we are seeing some huge jump in Tesla's valuation after many years of sideways action. But you know, as Kathy Wood always says, the longer the base, the bigger the breakout. So let's just start by taking a look at AJ's list here, and that is all the things that should happen within the next two years or so. So not 10 or 15 years out in the future, but his list has 22 items. So the first one is the refreshed Model Y from the first half of 2025. Yes, we have already heard that the first one of the refresh Model Y might already be coming off the assembly line in the Shanghai factory. So they are getting ready for this one. And I think Tesla will release it in Q1 of next year. They are making incentives right now here in Europe to offer a Tesla with one year of free supercharging. All you have to do is order and take delivery of your Model Y before December 31. So I personally think this is because they want to get rid of all the old Tesla Model Ys that they are producing right now as early next year, they will be releasing the new version. So I agree with AJ that this will be a great catalyst for Tesla in the first half of 2025 as they ramp up production of the refreshed version of the world's best selling car. Second on his list is the second Megapack factory in Shanghai from Q1 2025. Yep, for sure. As we have heard from Tesla Chan, the Tesla Shanghai factory is expected to be completed next month. So in December, it will for sure start production of batteries already in Q1 of 2025 and start ramping up much faster than Lathrop did. And it should be two to three times bigger than Lathrop as well. So Tesla is definitely sandbagging the four gigawatt hours of megapack capacity from the Shanghai factory. It will ramp up far beyond that. But 
no matter what, we will see that factory start spitting out Mega Packs in Q1 of 2025, on top of the Lathrop factory that has just reached its max capacity of 40 gigawatt hour in production capacity that it should be able to produce in 2025. So in 2024, we might hit between 25 to 30 gigawatt hours, but in 2025, they might just double that once again. So maybe Tesla will be able to produce something like 12,500 mega packs in 2025 with a price tag of around $1 million per unit, with about 30% in cross profit as they showed us in the Q3 earnings report. That could be about $3.75 billion worth in profits that Tesla will produce of mega packs just in 2025. I don't think anyone on Wall Street can then ignore Tesla's energy business anymore at that point. And then his catalyst number three here is the Cybertruck. Continued ramp, lowered price trim, international deliveries. Yes, that has already started with Mexico and Canada here in 2024. It is already destroying all doubters and haters of the Cybertruck as it has become the best-selling electric pickup truck in the world and is the third best-selling EV of any kind in the US. Yes, it sells more than the F-150 Lightning, but also more than any other EV than Ford or GM or Volkswagen or anyone else has to offer in the US. And that will just continue to ramp up and the negative stories that has been spread about the Cybertruck for the last five years will be put to shame and the Cybertruck will also become a huge success story just like the Model 3 and the Model Y before it. Then his number four is the next generation vehicle from the first half of 2025. Yes, this is a big one, especially for Wall Street, as they are mostly just looking at Tesla as a car company. And they have been screaming about more models and more affordable models for a long time. But in the first half of 2025, they will probably get two more affordable models from Tesla, helping Tesla to get their 2025 growth target of 20 to 30%. And then he has robotaxis from 2026 and Cybercab for purchase of 2026 as well. Yes, this will be a huge one. If Tesla pulls this one off and has volume production of the Cybercab in 2026, I think the stock is going to go ballistic, as this is what the whole Tesla story has been about for the last seven years or so. Tesla solving full self-driving and bringing a robotaxi on the street. Because this is really one that is dividing the waters, right? So many think Tesla will never solve it. And so many think Tesla is the only one that actually going to solve a general solution. So when this will happen, it will be the biggest I told you so for Tesla and the Tesla community, as we have been talking about this for years. But even before the cyber cap, we should see that Tesla is on cusp of solving for self driving. As AJ wrote, number six, Tesla owners ride hailing launch in California and Texas in 2025. If this one comes through next year, as Tesla has announced, well, that will be the first step of making believers out of everyone about Tesla's Cybercap, as we have talked about before. If they solve full self-driving software, the Cybercap, in my opinion, is basically just ready to go, as Tesla has been working on the production line for that vehicle at that Texas factory for about one and a half years already. So I still believe they are basically ready with the production line when they have solved it and get regulatory approval. So if they show off right hailing service for autonomous driving in 2025, it is all over. And then his number seven, large scale application of in-house 4680 sales from 2025. Yes, this is already a big deal for Tesla as they have already basically become on par in cost with third party suppliers. And to get that to an even higher scale, well, that will just cut the cost even lower for Tesla, bringing in more profits and getting ready for the Cybercap and Optimus that will also be using Tesla's own 4680 cell. And then he has, as number eight, the semi-truck factory completion in Q1 of 2026. Yep, we see the factory coming up in record speed at the moment. So no doubt it will be complete sometime during 2025. And in Q1 2026, it will be ready to ramp up volume 
production of the Tesla Semi truck. But if all of the other things we have been talking about coming true with full self driving in this timeline, as AJ is showing here, remember the semi truck will also be able to drive itself. So even though the semi truck will disrupt the industry as it is, as a full self driving semi truck, it will just blow every competition out of the water. And then he has number eight announcement of additional factory factories likely within the first half of 2025. Here I'm a little bit more skeptic if he's talking about car factories, that is, I think we could hear about another mega pack factory probably here in Europe. But a car factory, I don't think Tesla will do before Tesla is 100% sure they have solved full self driving within a year or so. But that could, of course, be the case already. But more factories when we already know about the huge factory in Mexico and we have the expansion of both Berlin and Shanghai for the next generation platform. And Tesla already have capacity of about 3 million units at their current factory when it's fully ramped up. So I don't think we will see another car factory announced in 2025, but I could be wrong on this one, of course. And then he's number 10, that is Tesla lithium refinery plant goes online. Yep, a huge deal for Tesla's battery cost and production, but I highly doubt Wall Street would actually get the implication of this. But yes, a huge, huge milestone for Tesla and their battery production. And then they have number 11, Tesla's Robovan 2026. Yes, I have talked about in my video about the Cybercap and Cybervan that I think this will be a platform that anyone can buy and refit as they want to, to be a school bus, a food truck or campers or whatever. So this will also be a big thing for Tesla. I'm not sure it will come out at the same time as a Cybercap. I think the Cybercap will be the first one and then be a proof of concept before they start ramping up a whole new production line for the Cyber Van as well. I think that will follow. So this might be a 2027 thing, but it doesn't really matter if we get the Cyber Gap in 2026. We all know what is coming. And then he has number 12, meaningful Optimus deployment end of 2025 and first customer trail program, similar to semi test program. Yes, this will be the single biggest catalyst for Tesla ever. Even if they just start out very small with one other company buying an Optimus robot in 2026 with a test program as we know it from Tesla semi truck program they did with Pepsi. This will show the world that Tesla in 2026 already have an Optimus robot being sold to a third party company. This will be so huge. And with the progress we have seen with the robot over the just the last two years, I still believe this is possible in 2026. So yes, a monster of a catalyst for Tesla already in 2026, because then people can start see what Tesla is building for the future. And then everyone is going to want to get on board on this so called hype train about Tesla's humanoid robot because they don't want to miss out on the biggest thing Tesla has ever created. And then he has number 13, Tesla's global vehicle fleet exceeding 10 million vehicles in the first half of 2026, providing unaccessible lead in AI training data collection. Yes, and most of them can be deployed in ride hailing network as approval continues to expand. And his number 14 is strong relationship between Elon and Jensen. Elon was Jensen's first NVIDIA AI customers, providing likely advantageous access to NVIDIA's data centers products. And remember, XAI built the biggest supercomputer in the world in 19 days, where others take a year to do so. So where Tesla and XAI will be in another two years, that is a lifetime in the world of Tesla and XAI's world of AI. And his number 15, Tesla's AI training computer, Dojo Gen 2 in 2025, followed by Dojo Gen 3 in 2026, providing large scale, ultra large token processing capabilities specific for the autonomy problem. Yes, and Tesla will be known as one of the biggest player in the AI game. Yes, they have been for a very long time. But at that point, it will be obvious for everyone to see. 
And he's number 16 from 2026, wider adoption of Tesla owners contributing vehicles to ride-hailing network. Yep. And he's number 17, Tesla RoboTaxi fleet exponential growth from second half of 2026. And he's number 18, potential for Tesla to create a virtual inference cluster with idling Tesla vehicles on board inference computer. Yes, this is another big play in the AI game that not many are getting that Tesla will be able to do basically for free for them on what they have already deployed and made money on once they can now start earning money on AI variants as well and his number 16 under friendly US administration potential for Tesla to achieve more meaningful US government vehicle penetration currently dominating by GM and Ford yes Tesla has been hauled back by the union run government for four years but all of these strings are going to be cut in 2025 so we should see a lot of changes for Tesla going forward forward and he's number 20 on the list introducing a wireless charging likely to drive larger EV adoption and accelerating renewable cycle of existing EV owners together with faster charging batteries Yes, Tesla will likely make a robotaxi charging network mostly for the cybercab and robotaxis, but I think they will also sell these charges, Matt, for you and I, so we can get it in our garage and make charging something you never think about on your daily basis, only on road trips, making EV even more convenient than they already are. And even though Marcus Brownlee thought they were not very efficient, well, Tesla told him the truth that they have about 90% efficiency on the charging mat. So this should be some awesome charging experience. And his number 21, SpaceX Aura. Under new administration, we will likely see significantly increased launch cadence. This create a positive signal for Tesla from its deep connection with Elon. There are countless investors often raising the following point. Tesla's CEO lands rockets. This SpaceX Nimbus bestowed upon Tesla via Elon should not be underestimated. Yes, we all remember what happened to Tesla stock at the end of 2020, right? The same year that SpaceX sent the first astronaut to the International Space Station. Maybe a coincidence, but I think AJ is right that SpaceX achievements are rubbing off on Tesla, as Elon constantly does the impossible, and the more things Elon shows off that he succeeds with, even with other companies, the more people will start getting that yes, Elon might be late in some parts, but he always delivers. And his catalyst number 22, various soft benefits from Elon's friendship with Putus. Effing with Elon will be viewed in many ways as effing with Putus. This should significantly reduce Tesla's headwinds and material lawfare will be dramatically reduced. Anyone with significant political ambitions will think twice before picking a fight with Elon and Tesla. Yes, but that should already have been obvious. As we all know, you just don't bet against Elon Musk. And we have just been through AJ's list of 22 catalysts for Tesla over the next two years. That there are still people shorting Tesla is beyond my understanding, as they also just lost $5 billion over the last 14 days. So when are they going to be tired of losing their money on shorting Tesla or selling Tesla stock only two months before one of the biggest rallies in Tesla's history. Ouch. Yeah, I think people will soon realize that it's very difficult to time the market. But just buying Tesla stock and holding it is very simple. I have been doing that since 2018 and it has worked out very well for me. Even though I don't know much about investing, I just know the company, Tesla, and the man behind it very well. So yes, 2024 is not over, still a few catalysts left and fun things to look forward to, but the next two years will be absolutely epic. I guess Ron Barron was right when he, back in June, predicted that we have reached the bottom for the Tesla stock. As he said, it's going to go up huge. Now is the bottom. And thank you for watching. And until next time, take care out there and be nice.